Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would do a bit of a DIY spa facial situation. I just figured I needed to do extractions. I've been seeing like these bumps under my skin, a lot of blackheads and like whiteheads. So normally I just take a tool and just go ham extracting, but I wanted to actually try to steam my face and I'm gonna do it like literally DIY. I have a pot on the stove boiling with water and we're just gonna try to open up our pores so that we can really get out all the gunk and nastiness from our face. So lately I changed up my diet. Um, I've been eating a lot healthier. I've been more conscious on what I'm eating, what I'm drinking. Um, I've said before a million times when I drink soda, my face breaks out horribly, so I've completely stayed away from soda. Um, I've just been drinking water, smoothies, I've been trying like hemp kombucha and stuff my diet has really really changed i don't eat as much um and whatever i do eat i have like a portion the same size of like spinach and like salads and stuff so i've been really eating a lot healthier i've actually been working out again because i was working out and then i stopped at home because literally everything i do is diy um and i sweat a lot and my face just started breaking out so bad and it got even to the point where my face was so sensitive to the touch like literally I touch it and it burned it hurt so bad um I even put up on my um you know on my insta story and somebody mentioned that my skin was probably purging which I thought could be it but I wasn't sure if that was possible when you're sweating and working out but it was super possible because literally my skin got so much better after that week like my skin even my dark spots had started going away my acne went away my skin has been brighter and clearer so i guess literally it was like a purge situation like a purge period and then now my face is looking amazing but with that being said, you always get blackheads, you always get whiteheads. I've been noticing like some under the skin bumps and I'm going to share with you guys how I get rid of them. So keep on watching. I have here a pot of water that has been sitting there and what I'm going to do, and I've never done this before, so we're actually going to see if it works because I'll tell you because I normally just um, extract my face without steaming it. So what i've heard is that i got another towel i'm going to place my face into this pot of water <laughs> just above it we j you just want the the heat to rise into your face and then um you know to open up your pores yeah to open up your pores okay so i'm gonna do this for i don't know five minutes so i'm just gonna tilt over see if you guys can see me in my pot and I'm just gonna go like this just be careful not to burn yourself and I feel like if you're a klutz maybe this isn't a good idea but um you could always um take a washcloth and just uh run it under hot water as hot as you can stand don't burn your face off and put that on your face I can even see like my face getting a little bit dewy um, it's actually really relaxing. It's really relaxing. Well, that's enough because I started getting bored. <laughs> okay, so what I use, and you can even see like my pores are like screaming for dear life. I'm gonna zoom you in. Hopefully we could get like a good shot of my skin now. And get one of those amazing before and afters. So I don't know if you could see like my pores, how large and in charge they are, and my nose. This is going to be our before and after. You can see I have a lot of blackheads. So I'm sorry if that's too close and personal for you, but it's about to get way worse, girlfriend. So what I use is this tool here. This is an extraction tool. And this side here, which is more flat. 
So this is what it looks like. This is an extraction tool. I brought mine off of eBay. Um, I probably paid like three bucks for it. I'll probably leave a link for one of these down below. So I have my paper towel. Now make sure that this is disinfected. I did a alcohol wipe on each end just to make sure that it is super clean and ready for you. So this is how I do it. This is going to get disgusting. If you get grossed out by things like this, then please click out. Or if you like pimple popper, this should be good. Oh my god, it looks like I'm bald, but it's just my sides are shaved, and they're white, so it looks like I'm bald, but I'm not bald, you guys. Okay, so what I do, I'm going to get real up close. I don't like to use this side, actually. I only like to use this looped side that I showed you. So what I do is, my hands are clean, okay, you guys? So I like to place this right above where the blackhead is and then slide down and you're going to apply some pressure don't get grossed out I don't know if you can even see it and there's a blackhead there So again, you're going to go right up to that black head, you're going to go above it, and then slide it down. So you're going to do that. You don't want to hurt yourself because this can make an impression, like you can see the impressions there, but you can actually bruise yourself if you do it too hard. So I'm just going to slide it down, now I'm just going after everything and you're just going to slide down and I just like to actually press it flat against and then just with some pressure slide down not to the point where you're hurting yourself you literally just feel some pressure And I like to go around the nose just like this. Just around. Get ready. That is all the gunk I just pulled from one side. And I didn't even go crazy. I hope you can see that. So I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to start fresh. Let me try to get up and close personal with you guys. So you're going to go here, you're going to press just around the nose. And you saw that, how easy it popped up. And you can see them just popping up. And all I do is apply some pressure. And you can see that right there. So I've only ever had a facial once in my life. And that facial went from being so relaxing to super painful. She looked at my skin and she said, oh, your face is so clogged. She goes, let me do extractions. That thing was the most painful experience ever. So I literally take it into my own hands. I do what I can handle. I get rid of what I want to get rid of. And I've been good so far. And this redness, obviously, we're picking at it, so it will go away on its own. So we're going to work on this side. So again, you're just pressing it flat, and it literally just takes it around out itself. It literally pops up. And honestly, after doing the steam, it actually comes up much, much easier. So that is a tip that actually works. Let me finish up my nose. I think you get the idea.
And then if you have a white head that's kind of hard, then you kind of want to start here and then drag forward. Like you're going to tilt it and drag forward. My tissue is covered in blackheads. It's really disgusting and I'm sorry that you guys have to see it, but I just want you guys to, <clears throat> I just want to show you guys what I do and what works for me and I feel will definitely work for you. Again, you want to make sure that your hands are clean, your tool is clean, your face is freshly washed. Only use a steamer or if you don't have a steamer, which I think I actually will invest in, um, if you don't have a steamer, then you can use a pot of water. Um, I think the pot of water definitely helps. Now, after doing all this, I actually go in and cleanse again. Number one, the steamer opened up our pores. This is the perfect time to get even more gunk out. Um, this is the perfect time to wash off whatever you've raised to the top. Um, normally, I would go in with a mask. You could do a mask or you could just do um, cleansing. Um, if you do a mask, I highly suggest the Cold Plunge Pore Mask by Ole Hendrickson. That one is really, really good. Or you could just go in with a cleanser, um, whatever cleanser. Something very simple. I'd probably go in with my Purity Cleanser just because it's very simple, very gentle on the skin. You don't want anything too harsh on the skin right now because you have picked on it. Um, if you were going out directly after, which I probably wouldn't recommend, you should probably do this at night or if you know you're not going anywhere for the day, you could probably apply some ice cubes or um, a cold washcloth to ease up on the redness. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I think you're grossed out enough. Definitely helps with blackheads, whiteheads, pimples. Just remember if it's not coming out the first, second, third swipe, don't go any harder, leave it alone. It's just not ready. Um, I think the easiest, most satisfying place is definitely the nose, which will do a close-up once the redness has gone down and you'll you'll see such a big difference. Um, when you have like all these dark spots and then it's literally nice and it's not going to be 100% smooth, but it's going to be a difference from the beginning. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this skincare. I'm going to keep these up. I will be posting an updated skincare routine. And yeah, just check it all out. I hope that you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.